In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of any lipstick. So I have this cool picture from Envato Elements that I grabbed of this model. There's a nice rose in the left here and they got some bright red lipstick here. Really cool. It's a very high quality image as well. It was like 30 megapixels, but it's a very good photo. So I'm going to show you how to change the lipstick because maybe you have a situation where you want to edit a photo and maybe we don't want the red lipstick. Maybe we want it to be pink or purple. So I'm going to go to my layers panel on the right hand side. What I'm going to do is make a hue saturation layer. So I'm going to go down to the little eclipse there, click the button, then click hue and saturation. Then you'll get a properties box pop up. The first thing I want to do is go to the master drop down and click on reds. This will allow us to focus on the reds in this image. What I'm going to do now is go to the bottom here and click the little eyedropper icon. Once you click the first one, this is going to allow us to select our base color. I'm going to zoom in using my Alt or Option key and use my mouse. Then zoom in and left click once on the red section. If you want to add another color to it, like a darker or a lighter version of the red, you just select the next eyedropper with the plus next to it and you can plus some of the other red colors and it should expand that red spectrum there. So I'm going to zoom out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layers panel and you see we've got this vector mask, right? So I'm going to click on that mask and you can see it's all white. What I want to do now is I actually want to make it black. So what you can do is you can press shift X to flip from the white to the black foreground and then press control delete. Make sure the black is on the background as you can see here because if it's in front, then it's not going to work. So you got to press control delete. And then now we have the black on the layer mask. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press B for the brush tool. And what I want to do is make sure the hardness is up onto hundred percent. You can use any round brush or just a square brush. It's up to you. And I want to make sure that my brush is white. So you can double click, make sure that it's white. Then what I'm going to do is start to paint over the lips. All right. And obviously we can't see anything yet, but what I'm going to do now is go to my layer and I'm going to click, make sure that you click on the hue saturation bit. And then what I want to do is I'm going to change the hue and I'm going to shift it. So you can see what we painted and we're going to fix that in a second. I can change the color to anything I want. So I can go purple, I can go blue, whatever we want. I can bump the saturation up. And now what I'm going to do is clean up the lips. So I'm going to click back on that layer. And what we have to do is just paint on top of the section where we want the color to show. So always remember in the layer mask, white shows and black hides. So I'm going to go through here and just left click and drag and just paint all those little sections. You can also decrease the size by pressing the squ left square bracket so I can zoom in start to paint all that section there and obviously if you go out of bounds you can press shift X and then to change color to black to hide that stuff there so this is one way you can paint do it sort of a fun way or you can make selections it's up to you but I'm just doing something a bit different in this one and I can zoom out and you can see I can always go back here and just adjust it a little bit and there we have it that's how you can change the color and it looks amazing i can always double click and actually go back and change whatever hue i want now because i've done that and if you feel like it looks too artificial what you can actually do is like drop the saturation down right you can also change the um the edges so we can actually sort of blow out the edges a little bit so what we can actually do is change and maybe go to overlay. You can also change to like screen, um, also soft light as well. As you can see, sort of blurs out the edges. Another thing we can do is go to our brush. And what I like to do is drop the opacity of the brush to about, you know, 30, 40%. And then what you can do is actually start to 
gone the edge and like faded out a little bit. So you can see it's starting to fade a bit. So let me just change back to normal. You can actually fade it, fade the edges like that. And if you drop the hardness down on the brush, so I can drop the hardness just to give it like a feathering effect. Just to soften the edges a bit. Without you know, just to blur that those edges. So I'm just like brushing. And obviously, if you do an ad or like it's for like social media, no one will really notice because they're not going to zoom in that far, right? But you know, when you're zoomed out, it's okay. So that's how you change a lipstick color. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and comment and also subscribe for more design content every week. Have an awesome day. Take it easy. <laughs>